Welcome. This video covers a basic guide of spec crit breaker which is called Fist King in KR. There are a lot of builds for Fist King, but I will only cover one of them that has very high potential. Breaker is a gender unlock of Scrapper. His party synergy is 6% damage. His HP and armor coefficient is same as Scrapper, so he's pretty tanky. Fist King Breaker is a free positional spec burst class. He has high stagger and high destruction as well. Breaker's skill mechanism works same as Scrapper. There are Stamina, the yellow skills, and Shock skills, the green skills. Whenever you use the Stamina skills, you lose Stamina, but you get the Shock meter. And when you use the Shock skill, then you lose the Shock meter. Whenever you use the skills, the orange meter called Spirit Energy fills up. And when it reaches max, then you can click Z key and activate Fist King mode. There are several benefits during this mode. 1. Your spacebar cooldown resets and your attack speed increases by 20%. 2. Your party synergy automatically applies. 3. During the stamina skills animation, if you auto attack, then it finishes the animation with enhanced auto attack. So let's go into the Fist King mode. And let's say that I use this A skill that dashes like this. So it just punches, right? But if you use the auto attack during the animation, then this is what happens. It additionally attacks. 4. Whenever you land this animation cancel auto attack, the cooldown of both stamina and shock skill reduces by 5% every time. So let me try to put some of the skills in the cooldown like this. And here I go. Look at the cooldown. Just like that, it's keep reducing. 5. You can use a special skill called Sky Strike by pressing Z key again. This skill is a non-positional charging shock skill, which is one of the main DPS skill for the burst. So if I go into the Fist King mode, you can see that I can click a charging skill once again by pressing the Z key. So for the Fist King, you want to build up the meter as soon as possible. And then use all the shock skills during the Z mode. Stats and gear. You go full spec and sub crit. Specialization increases the spirit meter gain. It also increases the skill damage during the Fist King mode. For the gear, you go for hallucination. Okay, let's go to the engravings. You go Grudge, Supercharge, Kim Blunt, Hitmaster, Class Engraving, and Adrenaline 1. Or you can run Adrenaline Level 3 over the Hitmaster and Ether Predator 1. Adrenaline 3 and Ether Predator 1 is good in general. Hitmaster 3 and Adrenaline 1 has higher ceiling with Chris Energy. There are 3 DPS skills. D, F, and Z. All three skills have 15% crit rate either from the tripod or from the classroom engraving. Crit stat gives around 20%. Hallucination level 3 gives 28% and Adrenaline 1 gives 5%. So that's around 68% crit rate in total. If you use Adrenaline level 3, then it becomes 78%. Okay, let me briefly go over to the skills. Q skill has level 1 destruction. You go tripod 1, 1, 2. For the rune, blue, wealth rune. W is a synergy skill and also at the same time counter skill. Tripod 2, 1, 1. For the rune, bleed rune. For the E skill, you go for 1, 3, 1. For the rune, you go Epic Wealth Rune.
R skill, you go for 232 two for the rune, epic wealth rune. A skill has level 1 destruction for the tripod, 322 two. for the rune, legendary gale wind. S skill has level 1 destruction and it's a combo skill. For the tripod, 1, 2, 1. For the rune, legendary wealth rune. Since it's a combo skill, you have to spam it and it can attack up to 6 times. This D skill is a DPS skill. For the tripod, 2, 2, 1. For the rune, epic gale wind. This F skill is one of the strongest DPS skills that the Fist King Breaker has. It has level 2 destruction as well. It's a charging skill, and if you see this tripod right here, it turns the head attack type of this skill into non-positional, which is the reason why Headmaster is valid. For the tripod, 1-1-1, one, one, one. and for the rune, Legendary Gale Wind. For the Awakening, you run the second Awakening, which deals a lot of damage. For the priority of the tripod, F, D, A is a DPS skill, so you value all the tripods that increases DPS. For the rest of the 5 skills, they are meter gain skills. And if you see the tripod, the one that looks like this, these are the meter gain tripod, so you have to upgrade these meter gain tripods. This one, this one, this one, this, and this. If you see the skill point, it uses exactly 420 max skill point. For people who doesn't have this much skill point, then they can deduct this skill from 12 to 10. Honestly, other than that, there's not much options to deduct. Okay, let's go over to the gems. For the gems, you run 4 DPS gems. Z, F, D, and A. For the rest of the 7, you run cooldown gem on everything except for this S skill. Okay, this time, let's go over to the rotation. I will use the level 7 cooldown gem, so think it as express event gems. There are some stuff that you need to know before the rotation. You must use all the shock skills when you have full shock meter, since the damage skills with the meter you consumed. S skill is not a DPS skill, it's a meter gain skill, but you still have to use it with full shock meter since it fills up more spirit energy. The next thing that you should know is about this E skill. You do not have to fully hold this skill to gain the meter if you have a certain amount of specialization. I will talk about this spec breakpoint later after this rotation. Okay, when you build a meter, you use 5 skills. Q, W, E, R, and S. Q can be used twice because of low cooldown, so 6 skills in total. S must be used when you have full shock meter, so the rotation will be like this. Q, and spam the S, W, E, R, and then Q again, and it reaches exactly max. And then you activate Z, charge F, charge Z, and then A cancel auto, Q cancel auto, and W cancel auto, D, and then keep on cancel autoing all the yellow skills. Until it ends. As you just saw, Canceling the animation of the yellow skills during the Fist King mode is very important because of cooldown reduction. You want to reduce the cooldown of these shock skills that have long cooldown to prepare for the next burst rotation. During the Z mode, the sequence of F to Z is fixed. You cannot like swap each other because when you activate and when you use the F skill, then it consumes all the shock meter, right? Z skill during the charge, it immediately fills up all the meter like this and then consumes it. If you swap the sequence like this, 
then you will not have enough shock meter to use the F skill. Also, when you have an awakening, then use it before you go into the Fist King mode, because specialization increases the damage except for the awakening during the Fist King mode. So there's no point of using the awakening during the Fist King. Okay, this time let me talk about the specialization breakpoints. So there are a lot of breakpoints out there, but I will only cover three of them, which I think is very important to know. So first of all, you remember this E skill? You don't have to hold fully, just let it go at half, right? To do that, the minimum required of the spec is 1795. So that's case one. Case two, if you think that this spec is too high to afford, then you can reduce it to minimum 1715 and in this case you have to fully hold the e skill and in one rotation both of the cases will max out the identity okay and the last case case three is about the rune so this build runs a lot of wealth rune as you see and because of this one epic wealth rune it might be problematic to some people because one of the rewards for the epic wealth rune is from 34th reward from the sea bounty right here. And this is not easy to get. For people who doesn't have this, you can run blue wealth rune on this skill right here, R, R skill. And in this case, you need to hire the spec up to 1793. And also, you have to fully hold this E skill in one rotation to reach out the max. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked it, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until the next video, stay geeked shed.